Hello, hello. Uh, my name's Chris Smith. Uh, this is another video uh, brought to you by the Atrium in Hartlepool. In fact, today we are filming from the Atrium shop. Uh, it's also funded by Arts Council England. Uh, you will by now have received your pack, which will include various instructions on how to make three different collages. One of the collages we are going to make in the day is from lots of random photographs. Uh, these are completely random. Uh, so I spent last night with the help of my wife cutting out lots of random pictures to put together on this bit of paper to make a beautiful picture, which you will as well. Uh, I have not included any uh, magazines or anything like that because you can use basically anything. Loads of random pictures. So I don't know what I'm going to create right now. Uh, and neither will you, I'd imagine. Uh, so we are going to make a start. Uh, one thing I will say is we are not using the canvas boards uh, which I supplied because I realised uh, that PVA glue does not stick uh, these as well from uh, newspapers and magazines because uh, the PVA glow will soak through and show the other side of it uh, so we don't want to get it too wet so we are using a plain old print stick so uh, we are using just a square of carriage paper, well a rectangle of carriage paper today, uh, and a glow stick. Uh, if you are stuck for something to paint on or frame, uh, go to a charity shop, buy a painting. If you like it, put it up. If you don't like it, paint over it or use the frame. Uh, there is no harm in that and it is a very cheap and easy way of getting uh, something to paint on and a frame at the same time for very cheap. So we are going to make a start. I would like to put down some sort of backgrounds. So as you can see I've cut out some uh, larger pictures. Uh, I do like hedges. So I might use that. Uh, and there's a, a lovely sofa there as well. But I think I'm going to uh, start with this picture of a country house. And oh, what a day. Isn't that beautiful? I've got married. Let's hope. They're still together if they're not actors. So on the bigger pieces, uh, I'm using a cross in the middle, which just helps get the glue all over uh, to make things nice and flat. I'm wobbling the table. I do apologise. Uh, Put another sheet of paper over the top and rub on that sheet of paper and you will get a nice flat surface. Uh, you may have noticed that I do have problems with my speech so if I ever do stop uh, or you don't understand me uh, it is because of uh, I do have brain injury. In fact, I volunteer at the Atrium. Uh, the Atrium is designed and built really to help uh, mental well-being. Uh, I had brain injury and was off work and started volunteer there. Uh, and at the moment, I'm doing these little sessions as well. But if you know anyone that might benefit from the Atrium, uh, Give them a call and the like the audacity you'll speak to a lovely lady called Catherine. Hello Catherine, you're lovely. Uh, right, 
So back to this. Nice picture of stalks. They're not stalks, but they've got long legs. Uh, I would like some more sky. So let's see if I've got some more sky. Please feel free to uh, sing or whatever if it is you like to do to fill in the gaps when I'm uh, waffling on. Looks like I don't have a good sky. Never mind. But I do have a gigantic racing car which I will use. Now one of the main things that I will talk about because in all all artwork I feel it is perhaps the most important thing and that is juxtaposition now ju juxtaposition is basically uh, when you put one thing next to another uh, and how it reacts how they react with each other one or more things I must say So, for example, uh, when this photograph was taken of this court, it was never meant to, we will use, a toilet. So, this was never designed to have a toilet coming out as the neck. Uh, but together, it means something. It may mean something different to you, to other people. But either way it means something but it will mean more because there are things that you would not normally see together uh, so I've cut out some more houses here uh, I'm going to place it on there and again rub on the back to get it nice and flat so as you can see uh, the picture is already starting to take shape uh, I quite like this racing car so, uh, when I'm glowing, when I remember, uh, I'm glowing from the inside out. Because sometimes if, you, if you're glowing from the outside in, you will potentially rip the paper like that. But if you are rubbing outwards, you shouldn't have any accidents. And rub. As you do this, as with uh, the rest of the collages, you are going to have rocky edges. Uh, they can be cut off, uh, but we will cut off those rocky edges at the end. Uh, so don't worry about them. Uh, next, oh, I think I want that car in front of this. The other good thing about using print stick is you will have a little bit of freedom to move things if you change your mind. Like I decided, I'm going to let that car to go in front of that. Uh, you will find as you go along in any art that you will change your mind as you go along on how things are going to look so when I was cutting things out last night for example uh, this big couldn't be housed in the background uh, I sort of envisaged uh, a different little picture in each window and now it's completely covered nearly that uh, so change your mind if you would need to so now I have 
Major said. I'm going to add some glue again from the uh, inside outwards. And flatten it down. What's this picture? They look happy. Uh, and I'm going to actually cover this join, which is a little bit messy. With this beautiful ball. Let's see what else we've got. So like I said, uh, all of these pictures were completely at random, which I cut out watching a film last night. Uh, I have no idea what film it was, because as well as speech problems, I have memory problems, which means I'm one of those lucky people, well, sort of lucky, if you've got a brain injury and think it's lucky. Oh, hold on. Who can watch this, the same film more than once? Because I will have forgotten a lot of it and a lot of the detail. So it means uh, I get to do my favourite things and watch my favourite things again and again. I quite like that. I am really really interested if you use this method of collage to see what you come up, come up with because it could be anything at all uh, so it's, it's quite exciting for me If I can at least find a blue for a sky, those birds will do. So round the outside. And stick it down. As an example of my memory, uh, I have no idea what I've just said. What it does mean though, is uh, I never lie, because uh, I wouldn't be able to remember uh, my lies unless I wrote them down. I'm going to have a bride kissing a man on a bicycle. Let's have lots of brides and grooms. Again, I'm being careful not to tear. Right, let's see what's next. Well, like 
this chair, although I sort of like this sofa. So as you see, although I've stuck down this half price sign, I'm going to completely cover it with this uh, pileable sofa. And once again, give it a rub. So as you can see, we have a, a picture coming together at the moment. Uh, we have a big gap in this top corner, which I don't like. I don't want to see any of the white background on this. You might decide that. Uh, it's your picture at the end of the day. Let's press on. Where's that dash in the knee out? So I'm going to put this dash in on the yacht on the settee. There, I like that a lot. I don't want it getting too cluttered uh, and I do quite like it so far. So I'm not going to stick too much over the front of that. Maybe down here. We will see. No, I've lost. Well, like I say, mistakes happen. Uh, and that is a mistake right there. Right, this fella who doesn't have it at the moment. needs a head. So watch live as a head. Whoa. As with all sharp things, like scissors. If you're clumsy like I am these says try not stab yourself in the face. Another good thing about using collage, particularly this kind of collage, uh, you don't have to paint a sports car, you don't have to paint a dog's head, they're already ready made for you uh, and looking beautiful, put them together, make something new. Uh, what was that to? No idea. Let's see what other pictures are. I think I'll use that heart while I'm going. So as uh, uh, as it is, so I am running out of bits of paper at the moment. So I think what I will be doing right now 
is sticking a last few things onto the picture uh, and calling it a day. So it is a thank you to you for watching. Thank you to my beautiful wife for helping me cut things out. Uh, I'm trying to find a way. Of, in fact, I'm going to cut off the raggy bits now. Smith uh, representing the Arbrium and this is my collage. Thank you. Goodbye.